Hello everybody, this is Qasem, the founder of Wolfbird PC Case and again, we are uh, after making the video campaign, I realized that I need to have some clarification about the uh, claims that I have made. So the first claim was that we are going to save $100 of electricity. That's about in the entire time that you are going to use. Maybe you are going to use the PC for a few years, three years. That's the $100 saving that you are going to have. It's not per month or per year. It's just three or four years period and uh, by, if you have a head-to-head -head comparison of this PC case uh, it, and to a close comparator of Neptune 240M which uses about 15 watts electricity we are using 15 watt less of course because we don't have the fan and the pump and uh, a website have shown that uh, when we are reducing the temperature of the CPU, we are going to have more efficiency in it. Uh, they have tested I73770K from 95 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. Uh, they could re reduce the power consumption from 90 watt to 75 watt, which is 15 watt of saving this one plus the 15 watt of normal fans and pumps inside the normal cooling will be about 30 watts of saving it means a couple of lighting in your system just if you are using led maybe your whole house lighting so that's quite a lot for me but it's very important for the earth as well and but the, the main the main saving that it is going to have is not that only not only that but in, in increase in the performance because you are just getting the performance out of thin air actually you're just increasing some changing some parameters in your side your computer voila you will have better performance and the uh, initial and lasting performance and being maintenanceless. The maintenanceless is my key point because uh, lots of IT guys, even in, in big co uh, corporations, they don't like to go after just a few years, repair, uh, clean all the PCs around just because they are slower. They don't even seem to care. Of course, they are going to care about their own PCs enough. But <laughs> this will result at, as, as a descending performance and therefore you will think that you need, it's a time to change the KC, by, but it's not, it's just you need to clean it up. I have tested that, I'm sure about that. I have been a computer technician for a couple of years. I'm, I know what I'm talking about in that area. So... <clears throat> You can. Uh, I have said that you can increase the performance by 150 percent. I forgot to mention off factory performance. So it means 50 percent in total. If you are better than, if you you really know how to do it, you can change the system somehow. That you can dissipate even more heat in it, or maybe in the future generation we can increase the clock speed more. Maybe we can get more out of it but if you don't know overclocking well it is only about 10 or 20 percent extra it's just it's, it just provides more stability because of low operating temperature and uh, it, stability is very critical for those people who are having fluid simulation for example which needs the previous data to be put in the next data set or other simulation results you know and video editing yeah it's very important you you put you turn on your computer for two uh, for a few days until a video uh, it combines a video and edit it mm, what was the term but and then you suddenly see there is a glitch in it you need to do the whole thing why because the operating temperature was too high that it, it made the computer lose a few data because when you have 
higher temperatures the atoms can jump more rapidly around and this uh, rapid jumping will re reduce the accuracy so overall you are going to have better performance over it and <coughs> We have said it is the toughest radiator in the board because it is wire on tube um, condenser. Actually, it is used normally in refrigerators. And how many times you have needed to change the refrigerator gas or it was leaking, you know, unless you damaged it yourself or it is like 50 years old. It's going to have a problem. And other than that, shouldn't be a problem it is leak proof as I have said the liquid that uh, we are using is DCM dichloromethane dichloromethane is non-conductive non-flammable has a very low there is nothing in the universe non-conductive other than vacuum so anything has conductivity it's not basically it's not conductive so if you pour it on the motherboard it's not going to have any harm on it and <coughs> non-flammable has very low um, very low what is it called toxicity so don't drink it of course you shouldn't do that but if it touch if it pours on your hand large quantities might might be painful but it's not so pain it's so it's not so painful as you might think other than that in the low quantities it doesn't have that much of damage you, you don't need to be worried about it. just put it there just like your, your house refrigerant who cares uh, housing capability of 95 percent that's the very important point because we changed the because we took out the radiator <coughs> because we took out the heat sink on top of the cpu we have a large area on front of the cpu which is you we don't use it at all we are using that in order to put our uh, power supply this power supply because of that the overall size of the case is very small and since it is very small, I'm sorry. And since it is very small, uh, we ca we have managed to make the backboard all empty around. So we didn't make cages for the hard drive and stuff, or the drives. And we are having, <coughs> we can have very large motherboards inside it. I think ATX or even more bigger than ATX, standard ATX can be fitted in it. And it can house up to, um, we are trying to put it, push it up to be up to three big, very large graphic cards in it, two 3.5 inch hard drive and maybe 2.5 inch hard drive, you can just put it anywhere. So actually a couple of, one of them is enough, so it can house it. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.